Well, we were just about ready to head out and it started raining on us, but that's cool. Doesn't matter. We are going to uh, be tent camping tonight. Uh, it's gonna be beautiful. This park is completely like full. Can't see it right now, but on the other side, there's so many tents. So many cars. Yeah, we walked, we uh, drove in, we saw a bunch of campers, and my dad said, oh, this place is gonna be packed. Let's check this one down here. No, it's not He's out there fishing. So I brought a hammock, so there's not a lot of good places. Yeah, and the one. spot we normally take up way up there is taken. And the bridge is gone. And they pulled the bridge out because they're redoing it. There's the new bridge they put in. But there's still not a lot of places for hammocks. However, we have permission to camp in the authorized place. So we're going to see which one we want to use. There goes the rabbit. This is a beautiful spot over here. Big old trees. It's away from everybody. However, none of these trees are really close enough for my hammock. So, we'll go down and take a look at the other spot. I mean, I, I could go from, from that tree there to there, but, hmm, I do love how those trees just close in over there. There's a hiking trail that, that comes right into the camp. So, we will carry on and heading down to the other spot so the other spot that we looked at wasn't really much better so i'll get creative i'll make something work one way or another i'm gonna sleep so it doesn't really matter i don't even care if i'm sleeping in a tarp on the ground it's probably done raining but check this out there's where all the campers are way down there and there's more way on the other side and look at our spot. Beautiful, all this room. Probably helps that we camp out here all the time and uh, all year long so they know us pretty well and they don't give us any issues about using a spot like this, but it's nice. Okay, we're gonna get set up. So last time we set up this one tigress, we didn't sleep in it. We only set it up just to kind of see how it goes. Now, I didn't do this last time and this is probably what I should have done. So I just set out the four uh, corners and then instead of using trekking poles or hiking poles, cause that's not my jam, I just went and got two sticks, cut them to the length I need and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it. The inside of the tent, there's this nice little rib here. So you can take your pole and just stick it right there, like that. And we'll go to the other side. Pretty decent. Let me see how it's in there. As fast as this tent is going up, this might be my new favorite. Oh yeah. Boys are over there talking with each other on the truck. They're just hanging. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt their bro time. They're having a good time. To be honest with you guys, when I first set this tent up with Keegan, it was really, really hot out. And I thought to myself, my gosh, this is cool, but oh, it, it's gonna take a while to set up, but no. It actually went really smooth. And what I really do like about this is 
check this out, this rain fly, you can take down your, your netting and the inside if it's raining on you and you're gonna stay dry, so. All right, I probably could have made the sticks a little bit taller, but you know what? They're even, they'll shed rain. I like it. It's already shedding the rain. It started raining on me a little bit. Alrighty, so here is the inside. Both the boys are sleeping like that. Plenty of room for them. That's definitely enough room. Looks good. Alright, so I've got the hammock up. I had a, I have a really long span all the way from here way over to that other tree and it's not I like to usually have it more at of an angle but I had to climb that tree over there and I can't go any higher you know so this will work um, I'm slightly higher on this side over here which is fine uh, no nosebleeds that's for sure but I'm okay with this the boys are over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the fire pit ring right here in the middle. We're gonna move a picnic table right here into the middle and call that good. It's thundering pretty loud. Uh, I think my buddy Tiss Dodd from Hammock Forums and also the man who is one of my admins for Stovaholics for making me these awesome slings. They're super long. They came in handy right here. Check that out. Anyway, here are the boys. They're set up over here. They went wandering because there's kids all over here and they're just walking. Keegan's taking advantage of being able to walk right now. I'm gonna come on over here and get this picnic table brought over here and I'm going to start making some dinner. Can you hear that thunder? It's all good. We're in storm mode now, boys. That's right, we're in storm mode. So I'm gonna drag a picnic table over So I've got the hammock set up, fire pits ready, their tents ready. What is this little gem I got here? <laughs> That's the BioLite. So I'm going to fill it up with some wood pellets. And the boys and I, we're thinking pizza tonight. Oh yeah. Oh, here they come. Here they come. They went down to check out the campsite. So we're gonna get eaten. It's starting to sprinkle on us. Oh, it feels nice and cool. We'll take this for sure. All right. Let that burn down for a bit while I prep the pizza. Okay, well, here is the first pizza crust. I'm gonna get making it. If you guys remember how we make this or not, I cook one side and I flip it. And you'll see, just gives it such a good crunch. I'm going to turn that down. There we go. All right. I did have to dump out some of the uh, wood pellets. I overfilled it. It's been a while since I've used this stove, so sometimes it's a it's a reteach <laughs> learning curve. So, all right. All right, stove's rocking. We've already got the pizza done on both sides. So what we're doing is we're adding some pepperoni. And cheese. And we're gonna put some cheese on top of it. Good pepperoni. That's a lot of pepperoni. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Pepperoni's 
All right, go and go ahead and put that on top of the stove. Yeah. We're gonna knock the stove down. Cause it's coming out of the side. Yeah, we're gonna knock that stove down. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. Are you ready? Steamy. Are you ready? Are you hungry? All right. All right, I've got another crust getting ready to go. Here we go with the first bite rule. Keegan, are you going first? Yeah. Here he goes. Cheesy. Ooh, cheesy. Mmm. We get a thumbs up. We still good? Mm-hmm. You gonna go, Dorian? Mm-hmm. Dorian's gonna go. They're hot. The bombs. Yeah. Did you see that string cheese? All right, we got a thumbs up. All right, so we're gonna get this other one here rocking and rolling. Ooh, my fingers are sticky. Here we go. Come here. Ooh, look at the bottom of that pizza. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be crunchy. Oh, it's gonna be crunchy. All right, here we go with the first bite rule. Mm. Mhm. Mm All right. Well, we are sitting around the campfire here. We just got done eating some pizza. We're just going to hang out with each other and enjoy our time. And uh, got our stuff cleaned up over there. So we're just laying out on a tarp here. Enjoying the night. See you guys in the morning. <laughs> all right, so there's the hammock set up. You can hear all the campers trying to get out of here. Dorian and I are just chillaxing right now. They were loud last night. Yeah, they were. Keegan's still coming to over there. Keegan, how did you sleep? Good. Good. I'm going to come over and open the other side of your tent and let that wind blow through you. Oh, looks like it got a little bit loose overnight, but not bad. Sometimes with tents, you have to go through and retension them. Let's see, we'll open up this side here. Let the breeze go through. How's that feel? Good. Good morning. I'm uh, going back to bed. <laughs> I forgot to air up my air mattress last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think you just forgot to close the valve then because it's a self inflating one. Oh. <laughs> well, I slept on hard ground. That's all right. The stove is just destroying this wood. It burns super fast. Look at this go. Ooh, good job. You gotta be careful. It's okay to use the longer sticks. If you use a longer stick when you put it in there, you just don't put it in all the way yet. And then when it, it starts down. to burn down, you take another stick just and something. push it in there the rest of the way. That's all. We probably won't need to, I think. We're, it's done. we're almost ready to boil. Almost ready. But you see down on the bottom, piece of wood that I put there that I found. Uh, that's why I did that, because I didn't want to burn the, uh, the coffee table. Because the stove gets super hot even though it has that nice gap. Great airflow, great airflow, but the whole thing just, just becomes so hot. I want to destroy stuff.
a great little stove. We're gonna load it up here, just to load the rest of our wood up. Look at it burn. If you're looking for kind of a hassle-free stove, I think, you just wanna feed. Can you get smoke in your eyes, hon? I'm tired. <laughs> oh. Then uh, this is a way to go, for sure. You feel that? Yeah. The rain? I felt it on my back. Yeah, here comes the rain. Well, we're under a rain cloud, so it's coming and it's going. We're gonna drink our tea, though, and chill out. Is it like watching a fire TV? Yeah. This is a really fun stove to feed. If you're looking for a pretty, simple, hassle-free stove, this is definitely a way to go. You don't even have to set it up. You just pull it out of your bag and load it up with wood. That's what we did. And you see how efficient it is. So good. So I can hear our tea. Our water is boiling, so we're gonna get our tea on. Tokes. Mm -hmm. You wanna steep it? See when you look at the bubbles? ruin it see it you get bubbles in yours that's how hot the water is so some people don't bring their water to a boil for their tea but i do because i like tea strong and you guys like tea the way i what make the it what the heck happened <laughs> all right well dorian's gonna close the gate to where we were camping at we are Gonna be calling it a video. Boys are in the back. That's all the camping stuff we brought right there. Not a lot. Um, we're gonna go down to the park and play because they're boys and they wanna be boys and they wanna play in the playground. So we're gonna go check it out and uh, have a good time. We, you know, we had a lot of fun. We didn't record too much. We, we played some card games. Uh, we ate some food, we hung out around a campfire, and we just hung out. So that's really what it's all about. Thank you guys so much for coming along. We'll see you guys on the next one. They're chilling in the back of the truck, so I better get them, get them to the park before they wonder what the heck's going on. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. How's it going back there? Good. Good? Yeah.